and some might be more on an accrual-based system. In other words, the, you might have to track your inventory on an accrual-based system because putting inventory on the books as an asset is an accrual thing. But the rest of your books might basically conform to a cash-based system. Or you might have to be tracking accounts receivable because accounts receivable is the way you bill your clients and therefore your revenue cycles basically on an accrual system. But when you pay your bills, you don't track accounts payable, just paying them with the use of your bank feeds possibly. And therefore it kind of conforms more to a cash based system. So in that way, you can kind of think of yourself in a, a hybrid type of method. Now, the reason this is really important is, of course, that you have to have a method that's appropriate for your business, and you want to make sure that you've selected the appropriate method for taxes, uh, because once you've selected a method, which typically happens in the first year of the of the C Corp or of the Schedule C, then it's difficult to change it. You could, it's possible, but you typically have to get approval or have some justification from changing methods because consistency is a general accounting principle, which is mirrored or emphasized by the IRS, of course. So combination method. You can generally use any combination of cash accrual and special methods of accounting if the combination clearly shows your income and expenses and you use it consistently. So you might have special methods in cases that are a little bit unusual, such as, for example, job cost systems for construction. If you have long jobs, then the revenue recognition principle doesn't always apply perfectly because usually the revenue recognition principle says you recognize revenue when the job is complete, meaning you did the goods or services. You provided the services or gave the goods. In a retail store, that's easy because you just give inventory. With services, normally it's when the work is done, but if it's a five-year job, now the question is, well, shouldn't I be recognizing revenue throughout those five years or should I wait until the job, the building or whatever is complete? At the end of five years, you could have different methods in order to recognize revenue and those cases deviating from the normal revenue recognition, such as percentage of completion or completed contract. So however, the following restrictions apply.